Hello everyone! So we are in Montreal. We're here today for the full day, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we leave Friday, but we're going to a different place to do a shoot and then we're driving home Saturday. So we got in last night and it was so pretty driving into the city, but Thomas was quite sick, the poor thing. It was just car sickness because we were driving for six and a half hours. So we just had a really chill night. And then today we're going to a cafe for breakfast. It's called Crew and Collective. So it's like supposed to be an old bank that's been converted. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I don't know if I can eat anything there though. So if not, we'll go to a vegan place for me. And then after that, he has to do a call. I'll come back here as well and do some emails and whatnot. And then we're gonna go out and explore the old, like old town Montreal and do some shopping. And then tomorrow is our spa day. So today is our big day to go shopping. I am on the hunt for some nice loafers. He's on the hunt for some nice boat shoes. So we are gonna hit up all the shoe stores that we can. And also uh, we're gonna look at some like vintage camera places for film cameras for him. So yeah, that is our plan for the day. My current outfit is some black earmuffs with chunky bangs. I've got my It's France turtleneck that I got in the UK and then my black um, what are they called? Like bootleg? Is that what they're called? Bootleg pants with the flare at the bottoms. That's the fit for today. Very warm. It is minus five today and snowy. Just flurries actually. There's not really any snow on the ground, but we got to be warm. We got to be cozy and we got to go shop. So I'll try and take some footage while we're either in Crew and Collective and downtown shopping, all of that good stuff so you guys can see. But I'll give you a quick little tour of our place. So you walk in here. And this is what the room is, looks like. It's Sonder, so it was pretty affordable. Don't mind the mess because we were quickly getting ready today. Got the nice washroom and it comes with the shower gels and everything, which is nice. And then you got a full kitchen here, which is pretty nice, especially if you're staying for like a month or something for work. These are my, I forgot my contact case. So this is left and right for my contacts. And then you have the room. We've got Thomas in bed, Hola. relaxing. Doesn't she look so good? I love him. And then we've got a beautiful view here. Not really, but it's just nice to see all the different buildings. Like they're so pretty. Old Montreal is just so beautiful. The location is definitely the best part of this place because like right beside us is the bank cafe that I want to go to and all of the main like spots that people say to go to for old montreal like the cobblestone streets and everything so i definitely recommend if you're on airbnb and you want to stay here going to uh like checking out sonder i just parked at a nearby parking garage and it was like 60 bucks for four days which is pretty good and what else to note about this place um also you must speak french if you're coming here and ordering uber eats because last night he was so sick so we just ordered food in but the guy on uber eats only spoke french makes sense because we're in montreal and quebec it's primarily french of course so thomas couldn't speak to him luckily i speak french so i was on the phone with the uber guy figuring out where he was but um yeah pro tip make sure you have google translate and your french is up to date because you will need it okay so it is currently march 19th i'm not gonna lie guys i honestly forgot i had this vlog in my backlog but i'm so excited to look back on the footage so we went to that oh you can hear arrows in the background went to that bank cafe which is really good but the highlight of the day was this curry that we had i had a lentil curry and he had I honestly can't remember, um, but it was so delicious at the mall. It was such a fancy food court. Oh, it was so good. And there's my Thomas camera shopping like always. I think that day we went to four or five different camera stores, but Old Montreal was just so beautiful. I loved seeing the architecture. And honestly, if I was staying in Canada long term, I would definitely consider living in Montreal, but your girl is trying to make it to the UK. <laughs> But it was so beautiful and Thomas loved it as well. He thought it was stunning. Oh, he's so handsome. And then we went to this really cool like dive bar pizza place, but the drinks were so expensive, so definitely wouldn't go back. I mean, just look at how like obscure and unnecessary this swan drink was. It was so silly. Then we had the spa day plans for Valentine's. That was my Valentine's gift to him. He's so cute. We went and got brunch first, and then we went to the Bota Bota Spa on water, which I'll tell you guys 
about in a bit more, but it was such a beautiful experience. I would highly recommend. It's a beautiful day in Montreal, isn't it? I know you are. Look at my answer, Thomas, on Valentine's. That's this my Valentine. Spin it around. Hi. Hello, guys. So it is Valentine's Day, and we got back from the spa, which was insane. We went to Boda Boda is what it's called. It's a water spa, so basically it's like a giant boat. Like a, it's a building, but it's like on the pier, and it's like made to look kind of like a boat. It was really cool, and so we went and we did the water circuit, which is like oh my phone's gonna fall. It's like this steam sauna, and then you do a cold plunge, which I did not do because I do not have the strength for that. Uh, Thomas did it though. And then you go into like the hot tubs and relax and it was so delightful and I treated us to a couple's massage Thomas has never had a massage before so I was so excited to treat him to his first one it was so relaxing and then we came back and just relaxed a little bit and now we are heading out to dinner soon so we're going to this like classic english pub I picked this one again mainly for Thomas the only thing I can really eat is like a salad i think with no cheese but i'm looking forward to him trying all of the fun like uk foods you know taking him back to, to his roots i think he's gonna get tikka masala actually which is kind of funny but they had um like braised beef and like classic potatoes and all that fun stuff so yeah that's where we're going for dinner and then tomorrow we're going to go to a vegan brunch place i'm really excited for the outfit though i'm wearing this really cute like little what you call this kind of like school uniform style top i'm not sure from winners actually i got it on sale for like six dollars as a steal and then i'm doing some curls in my hair with my bangs i like to curl my hair towards my face instead of away from my face and then i'm wearing my same boot cut <laughs> pants and i'll just have to wear bloodstones because that's all i have we've been on the hunt for some cute loafers because he wants boat shoes and i want loafers but couldn't find any so far. I'm going back to the mall tomorrow to try and find some. So fingers crossed. And yeah, then Friday we're going to oops. Ah. On Friday we're gonna try and do a shoot with this really cool vintage corset that I have. So we're trying to find location right now. Um and I got all the props and everything for it. It's just like a fun shoot, him and I. Uh, and it's also like a cute little date idea, you know? If you're if you're with a photographer or something, doing a little photo shoot together is always cute. So yeah, those are kind of our plans. Just thought I'd catch you guys up while I'm getting ready here. My bangs look so frizzy though. I'm not really sure how to fix that. Oh, I'm getting used to the bangs, but just because I'm getting used to them, it does not mean that I like them. <laughs> They're still outside my comfort zone. And yeah, they're just kind of hard to style, especially when we're walking around in the cold because I want to wear a toque, but then it presses my bangs down. So it kind of ruins it. But anyways, if I can angle you guys a bit better there. And then I'll, I'll finish up my hair. Is hair done? Once my bangs grow out a little bit, I'll be able to part them a little bit more so that they're not so in my eyes because right now they're at the worst length where they're like i didn't want to cut them any shorter because i don't want bangs. <laughs> this is what i wanted i wanted like bangs to here i don't know why i cut them so short um but right now they're at the worst length because they're like kind of in my eyes but we just have to deal with it so now let's continue on to makeup we're gonna do some nice two-faced sweethearts blush the classic ocean go-to blush I'm so sad they discontinued this because this is such an amazing product. I don't know what I'm going to do when I finally uh, run out of it, but <laughs> it's lasted me for I don't know how many years, like five years. It's ridiculous. And then let's do a little bit of highlights. And then we are shimmery at the restaurant. So if you've never been to Montreal, I would highly recommend, even me as a Canadian, I've never been to Montreal and I live in Ontario. We used to live in BC, um, but it is so, so beautiful. Like we're just in awe. And honestly, because all of these stores are different, 
like even the grocery stores are different names the signs on the road are different like the street lights are different because of all that it honestly feels like you're in a different country which makes sense because quebec did try to become their own country <laughs> so um it is really it does really feel like an actual like vacation even though we're just a seven hour it's seven hour drive but even though we are seven hour drive it feels like we're in like a paris like a mix between what thomas Way says and i agree with is montreal feels like a mix between new york and paris i've never been to new york but i've been to like rochester and stuff but when you look at like videos on tiktok and everything and you see people doing the like day in the life new york uni student or fashion student whatever I can definitely see how it feels like a mix between the two. I don't know, I love it. And also, my French has been coming in super handy, helping out Thomas and I when we've ordered Uber, trying to help the Uber drivers find where our apartment is because unfortunately, every Uber goes to the opposite street, which is like behind a whole set of buildings. I'm not sure why Google Maps does that, so I had to whip out my French and tell them where we actually are yesterday it was snowing and i couldn't get the couldn't figure out where the uber was and i was on the phone with him and he was on a bicycle but we didn't realize it had snowed because we were like inside and we took a nap so it had snowed and i go out there and it's snowing and i'm like mm. so i'm in my pajama shorts and flip-flops on the phone with this uber trying to help him and i'm like i don't know how to help you anymore like i walk down the street i'm in flip-flops and I'm at the CIBC in Scotia and he's like, I can see the CIBC. And I'm like, if you can see the CIBC, like, why can't I see you? And then anyways, we finally found him after about 15 minutes of me being in the freezing cold snow. So that was not fun, but it's, it was so weird that like Google Maps is, I don't know, being funky. Other than that though, I would recommend this place 10 out of 10 because of location. We have not had to walk more than, well, we walked 45 minutes to a camera store, <laughs> but we haven't had to walk otherwise like more than 30 minutes. The farthest place was the Eaton Center, the Montreal Eaton Center, which was like a 27 minute walk, but still worth it. And because you make stops on the way, it doesn't feel long at all. And for example, the pub that we're going to tonight, Wolf and Workman is an eight minute walk. The spa was a 13 minute walk. The brunch place that we're going to tomorrow called love is i think like a six minute walk so it's just the best location you can get so yeah it's called sonder apartments once again for anyone wondering and this one specifically is 408 rue saint jacques rue rue saint jacques rue saint jacques so yeah that is my little tip if you're staying in montreal stay here Okay, and there is makeup all done. My lips are so chapped. I have a really bad cut in the center of them, so I can't really wear proper lipstick, but super adorable. I love this top. Cute, cute. Not very Valentine's themed, but still adorable. Also, my energy is so low because I'm just so sleepy after this spa. I almost fell asleep fully while we were in the massage, and then they do have these, like, hanging, like, maybe I should wear my hair up. Um, they have these hammock chairs where you can relax and I did fall asleep in those and Thomas like shook me and woke me up because we only had 30 minutes left uh, before we had to go get our massage but I was like, where am I? <laughs> Alright, anyways, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow or at dinner. Okay, so then we went for dinner at the pub, which he loved. It was such a beautiful vibe. It was honestly incredible. And then the next day we went to this Tommy brunch place it was a bit of a wait and it was pretty good i don't know if i'd necessarily recommend it as like my top place but it was yummy he got some eggs benedict on bread and i had this avocado falafel toast it was pretty good but the best part was the mexican that we had that night it was so fresh and delicious everything was just so divine i'm not gonna lie i can't remember what this place was called but it was so good and then i went to the symphony which was so lovely and on the last day, we just went for some yummy brunch. It was an all-vegan place, and it was so good. Um, I, fun fact, that sandwich actually exploded everywhere and landed on the girl beside me. Oops. And then we just had brunch with the family, and he got to meet my family. But yeah, that was Montreal. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you.